and over again today, communication. It is the really the key to taking the team to another level. Yeah. And here we go. Next level gaming. Uh, starting as aliens this time on this last round and maximum damage down as marines. Doing a 3-1 with one build and maximum damage. Four of them on the right side of the map. With one over nuke over in the pub. Kaku and Can building up in there. I'll tell you what. If I was next level, I would say go for it. I'd go for the rush. Well, two are now coming into the main base. Commander's now going back in. He spent 20 res on that second IP. Evilbot, it will take down one, take down Ooh. two, and saves the day. Oh, man, because that second IP was only built uh, to 35 and was 55% health, which means they could have taken that out, stopping the 20 res cost. Man. That was really close. Kaku and Can now in supply lines. Building up this uh, these blueprints over there. Math pushing forward a little bit into trash ejection from repairs. Backed up by Vol. Polly on the left side. Jay um, behind there. They're going to meet. <laughs> Not a good day for Jay. <laughs> As MD pushes all the way into Bay Wings. Clearing out that cis chain. Making the infestation recede. See, there's no reason why he should have gone to Bay Wing for res. It's way too exposed and easy for the Marines to hit. He should have spread all the way over to Pipeworks. And he's just now doing that. And it's not been scouted, you know? So it's like, you got to have people on this map. You got to you gotta have an idea of what's happening in that room before you invest anything. Yeah. Nuke and Ben now moving into electrical core. 97% on that RT as they try to work that down. But Kaku and Can have moved all the way into Pipeworks. And they've taken out every Marine extractor that they've placed. Right now the Marines are sitting on just base. Yeah. And they've gone for phase tech. They spent most of their money there. If they keep losing these uh, these RTs around the map, then it's going to be really hard for them to spend money on anything else other than rebuilding. You can see the map right now. They've lost three up to this point. Just two minutes into this game. Wow, most of NLG taking through, taking on these Marines in Oxy. Yeah, and the, the bad thing there was because they had taken out all that res, those Marines were going to be waiting there for a good minute and a half, mm -hmm. two minutes to get the res to drop the phase gate. Yep. So the aliens responded very well, and I'm hoping that that was because of the communication. I know today's you know word of the day is communication. Evil bot and ball in Bay Wing up against J uh, JJ. And we see down on the other side, Can and Math moving up from supply lines into electrical core. Um, now, here's the thing, you know, they went fast phase gates, but they don't have the economy to really support it. <laughs> Correct. So. I mean, he should have noticed how quickly his uh, extractors were going down. Yeah. And, and probably made a different decision there. But he'd already invested in the OVs, which is why I think they got stuck doing it. Yeah. I mean, they just dropped another RT there in Electro Kokora. That's going to uh, bring them up to four, which is pretty decent right now if they can actually hold them. Griffin Nuke cleaning out those two Marines here in X. And we're seeing that Math and Can are moving in through Skylights, meaning Nuke around the corner, Ben underneath in the vents. It looks like these guys are going to get uh, are gonna get pinched because there's a drifter there in uh, Oregon. They're going to go for res, which I think is a better move. I think going to supply lines and Electrical core at this point is a better move. The aliens are about to grab their fourth uh, harvester. The Marines have got a long ways to travel to get up to Pipeworks. You know, they're waiting for a phase gate. It looks like they're going to go for an organ donation. But if they can stop this res flow, the phase gate doesn't really mean much because it means no armor, no weapons upgrades for these Marines to really protect it. Math and Can building up in Oregon. We're seeing that 99% on that, 95% on that power. Uh, one, another, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Supply Lines RT just went down, and the Electrical Core one is in trouble as well. Two Marines, Evilbot and Kaku in waste recycling. Yeah, cleaned out pretty quickly. Kaku the only one left. 
thought those upgrades were going to be in trouble. One was down to Whoa. 50%. She's going for the phase gate in Pipeworks. Oh, boy. That is a tough room to hold. You know, especially in this low, low upgrade game, you want the Kill tight room, like organ donation, where you can really just pinch those sculpts. Mm -hmm. This big open room here with so much geometry to move around on and, and you know, bounce off of. Yeah, it's it going to make it difficult, especially with the lurk up now. Oh, man. Okay, coming in, taking some pot shots. Here we go with the rest of NLG coming in here. You guys are seeing it, this mess from Matt's point of view as he goes down to JJ. And there we go. There goes the phase gate strategy there. Maximum damage really taking it hard um, against uh, NLG. Kaku and Vol now moving into the center of the map into gravity. Looks like they're going to try to get this as a extractor. Nuke coming around the corner as that lurk. Taking a little pot shots there with his spikes. He's going to back up to heal. Math and Can coming in through offloads on the other side. Evilbot coming in through electrical core. So the Marines have banked 148 res total and lost six extractors for 60 of that res. I mean, wow. They're just being really put on their back foot constantly. Oh, my God. <laughs> NLG, really good pack play right now. And doing a double lurk play. Ben and Nuke as the two lurks taking advantage of these uh, non-upgraded Marines. I think they definitely know it. Yeah, and that's the only reason why you would go for the double lurks is to just get that little bit of extra edge on these unupgraded marines and and give that pressure you need to really just seal the deal. Destroy. I mean, these these two lurks just destroyed those two marines in Oregon. Evilbot coming around the corner. He's just gonna hide a little bit and wait. Down to ten res. Four extractors up. They're losing repairs again. They've lost, you know, gravity. They've got to get some kills here. Ah. Vols is on like 1% <laughs> health. Finally goes down. Can Kakaduff get the kill? He does with the pistol. Jay is probably pretty pissed about that. Let's just look at the map right now. I mean, we're seeing that uh, seven uh, extractors lost for maximum damage, just one for next level gaming. Um, we're seeing in Team Resources, 209 to 173, uh, going to maximum damage. Team kills, though, pretty oh. even. And I think they're finally in a position to get this phase gate up in Skylights. And this is when the team needs to turn around and just say, okay, hit the res again, hit the res again, hit yeah. the res again. Yeah. They've got Armor 1 finally going, but the commander's really low on resources, which means he's not going to be dropping med packs. Phase gate is up. Uh, but they still need to build the power in that room. No, oh, Skulk, Polly, go back to repairs. Come on. There you go. These guys are going to get cleaned up in Oregon, and we see repairs. Yep, you said Polly fighting down that RT. Oh, Nuke's, Nuke's low. Nuke had to get out of there. Whip being placed here in offload. That's going to help a little bit to protect. Uh, sorry, in Oregon donation, be able to protect a little bit. Nope. But it doesn't even get <laughs> doesn't a single... Doesn't even get to root. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even get to root. Oh, and that's unfortunate. They do save repair down to 27%. Oh, Can almost catching Griff uh, in the vents. Griff blinking back in, missing a swipe from Can. So we have two, uh, I'm sorry, one lurk, two fades. Two unupgraded fades. I don't even think they've got their uh, celerity or adrenaline out. They're going to lose repairs. They've capped bay. They're probably going to cap repairs now. We've got infestation moving out everywhere. Maybe even gravity. They could drop a second hive at gravity at this point and be in a safe position. See, now that they're all dropping back, armor one was finished just a little bit ago. One marine in waste can. Gorge is in there. Simba is doing great shots with a spit. But in comes the fade from behind and says, uh-uh. <laughs> We're seeing Griff uh, blinking around the map. He looks like he's going to move. I don't know where he's going. He's actually going down into docking bay, into the marine start. Going to take a couple shots at Can. Pull him back. You know, I mean, it's, it's a smart move. If you just go in and tap something, they're going to freak out and be like, oh, God, get back, get back. Yeah. You know, especially if the aliens have been out of position for as long as they have. They could be grouping up for an, a, a big attack. 
Shotguns now, halfway done. Pipeworks <laughs> now has been dropped as Evil and Math are in there. Uh, no! And this is what we oh. talked about, communication, people. Oh, they should know wow. the phase gate's out there. They should have spotted it before they dropped it. He puts down a shift and then drops a hive in a room with two Marines just sitting there because no one and he had a drifter was paying attention. In there. He had a drifter. He had a he drifter in there. He could have. He totally saw the blue. I mean, why, 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 why drop that? That was a bad call from NLG. They do clean out the Marines, but they lose that hive. Um, so 40 res down the toilet. Uh, they do have enough to drop it again, but now obviously maximum jams, damage knows that they're going for that hive. I mean, they knew that a while ago, but still, they well, know they're, that they're a, ready to drop they're it. They're in a tough spot right now. Maximum damage has got the phase gate up, but is only holding two extractors at mm -hmm. the moment. The res flow is down to nothing, <laughs> and he's, he's he's buying upgrades. I mean, he's going for weapons too. He's got weapons one and armor one already. Shotguns in the hands, but if they can just start chipping away at these marines, they have no p res you know, after two deaths to do anything. Yeah, exactly. Griff still uh, down in Docking Bay. Oh, no! Jay go down in Oregon. Uh, was that yeah, in Oregon? Yeah. yeah. He went down in Oregon. There he is. There's his body. Wow, nice. There for maximum damage. You know, I have to say... I, I'm this... saying, gravity. They need to drop the hive in gravity right now. Drop the res node. Drop the res node in, in repairs as well. They've got the right side of the map to dead to arms. And there's no phase gate anywhere nearby, so they're going to have to run every time. It's worth it. It's totally worth putting it in there, and you can already have it built. Yeah, yeah, because they're just not going to check there. They're, they're looking on the left side, and they're going to move right. I like these little base uh, harassments that now they're doing. Now you got doing. a skulk, too. Oh, and two but skulls. they got to refocus. Why, you know, they're hitting the phase gate. There's no one near the phase gate. Yeah. Just hit the IP. Takes down uh, the skulk. The fade retreats, one fade left, and then what are they left with? Okay, so yeah, the fade nothing. gets at 46%. Eh. Yeah, that was, that was not even a gain. However, during that, oh, they do take down the phase gate and skylights. So Skulk was on the phase gate. Oh, there, which... no, Kaku, you're right. Kaku, uh, uh, he friendly fired the phase gate. Oh, he, my God. He destroyed his own phase gate. <laughs> Trying to get the Skulk off of it? Yeah. Oh, so it does do damage to structures, It folks. does do damage to structures. And now that 15 res they could have used to get armor 2 to help against the fade <laughs> is now down. That was hilarious. He was like, oh my god. <laughs> well, there's your uh, gravity hive, by the way. Great. And this is a good position to be in. Can is coming around. He's the only one alive. Simba's in here healing it up, but they've got to get someone over here. And Can knows there's something going on. He can hear the drifter. He's going to run right around to the hive. Now the scan goes down. But they know they're out of position. No phase gate. Can goes down right away. And they've got to decide, do we go all in for that? Or what do we do? Because they're going to lose the phase gate and skylights if they go to gravity. Yeah. Well, they're hanging on dearly to their three uh, resource towers that are on right now. Going to have to pull math back. As he tries to get Ben off this. And it looks like they've decided not to go for gravity. The thing to know here, too, is... They could run through this vent outside organ donation into X really easily and just run into gravity. It essentially cuts off half the map runtime for you. Yeah. We saw a skulk in docking bay taking down the phase gate in the main base down to 12% before getting shot from around the corner. Uh, the hive is now grown in gravity. And there we go. Now you're going to see probably Carapace come online. And that's really going to help a lot of these lower life forms. The one benefit that maximum damage has going for them right now is that there is only one fade. But there is oh. also an Onos. Polly is on the field as the beast itself. Shotguns, weapon two, armor one, means he's going to be able to kill the, uh, the Marines quickly, but they're going to be able to do a significant amount of damage. Yeah, I mean that was that was pretty good saving for that. I mean they had they basically had almost all look look at what he's doing. He's trying to be quiet and he's just gonna surprise these guys. Oh hello, there's an Onos in front of you. <laughs> and a great hit, and now you've already got Skulks on the phase gate with the help of the lurk. The phase gate goes down. Marines are sitting on four extractors. How wait, how are they on four extractors? 
Oh, they did have one in oxygenation. Yeah, Oregon now is going to go down. Electrical core is going to go down. I mean, the uh, maximum damage does not have the tech to to fend against this. Armor two is almost coming, but they don't have jetpacks. They have they're going to have weapons two, armor two, shotguns, um, but they're not going to be able to chase down uh, this Onos if if the Onos is smart to get away at certain points because we know that they're a little bit not as juggernauts as they were back in older builds. And interestingly enough, they go for the advanced armory right now. Armor 2 is about to go online. They're and gonna I'm, go for jets. Or, I'm they're guessing they're going for jets. Yeah. They're going to definitely try to go for jets. They saw that. I mean, you saw they saw that Onos and they were like, okay. <laughs> he <laughs> he canceled the advanced armory in oh. favor of getting the phase gate. Very interesting. There's still I like 35 actually five T res, so I wonder I what he's going to spend the, that on. Uh, yeah, I think that the play for the jetpacks probably would have been the better move. Yeah, I mean to try to. Uh, okay. Oh, he went for weapons three instead. I really want to take down that Onos. Well, they're going to need to really play together <laughs> because it's just going to take a bunch of Marines focus firing in that, uh, and they're all ground. You know, they're all tied to the ground. So this is. This is just going to be really tough. I mean, they're losing now res all over the map. They're losing electrical core. Um, obviously, they lost, uh, uh, you know, the pub. Here comes the Onos into Skylights. Not really taking much damage at all. Yeah, now he's getting awesome. Onos upgrades. So Stomp could really be big right now, especially since they're all tied to the ground. Stomp once, take down three or four of them with the way that they're clumping together. And now they're all coming back to base because it was an assault on Marine start. Again, not a whole lot of damage being done. But annoying enough that they're keeping maximum damage off of offense. You know, like, basically, they know that they just need to defend these two spots. MG has not been, MD has not been able to, to really push out anywhere. Um, you know, they're rebuilding RTs all the time. They're, they're protecting their only Skylight's uh, foothold on the map. I mean, this is just... Uh, a good defense is a great offense, right? So it's like that's what NLG is doing right now. Obviously, they're they're out teching them like crazy as well. Can is in the vent there. Polly on one side. I think uh, Java is just a skull, and Can is just popping off one by one. Bone wall being used in repairs to help block against that RT that was still <laughs> building. But it looks like Evilbot and Kakudaf are going to get that down. I don't even think MD knows that there's a, <laughs> there's a gravity hive. I haven't seen anyone walk in there lately. Well, yeah, Can, Can went in there. He oh, okay, there. okay. I was trying to just, you know, catch these skulks here and there. Math Kitten alone in supply lines. They're not, I mean, they're losing shotguns all over the map. And we're about a minute away from, uh, or less, from second fades. So second Onos and second Onos. Yeah, we got Ben at 55. And Onos upgrades are about to go online. Uh, so we can see. Need... So three is for charge. I believe Stomp uh, is higher, is it, isn't it? Is like higher. Seven? Yeah. I, I don't have my notes in front of me right now. Yeah, I'd have to remember my little graph, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit higher. I think it's like five or six. Oh, or the red dog dog is in the room. I hear the little bells. Oh, They're yeah, dogs, they just little, walked in. Little ankle biter. <laughs> Griffin, and this Onos is just, yeah, Oh, the Onos gore J. <laughs> a little bit of friendly fire kill there. Polly really low, 35%. Yeah, that's something I, I forget. You know, we see a lot of, like, team killing, you know, and team damage from uh, the Marines, but I totally forget that, yeah, like, as an Onos, you're all around a Marine and you're all meleeing like crazy. You could just accidentally gore your fade buddy. <laughs> that's right next to you. Yeah, I mean, you could do some serious damage to him. I know. <laughs> Can moving into uh, oxygenation, a little bit of pressure over an organ donation as well. The Marines are definitely not giving up. I don't think that they need to, you know, with level 3-2 right now. <laughs> Five words um, now. That's and they've plan. got a lot of res, personal res still, uh, but they just dropped the hive. At, at the Marines heard it. They're going to walk right in. And oh! And down goes the last fade. Yep, there's the fade down in that fight in Oxy up against uh, up against Can. Pipeworks uh, has been destroyed by Math and Bull as well as they walked in there. 
But Jay is back in Marine Star hitting the OBS. He's the only one here, though. Should have waited for Simba as the OBS oh! goes down to like 1, 2%, 6%. Oh, man. And uh, he gets Beacon back. I, I, You know, the thing is that I'm trying to extrapolate from max, maximum damage gameplay is I'm trying to figure out if they have a plan right now. You know, well, I, I don't... We see this all the time, Red Dog. <laughs> you see, and even from top teams uh, like, you know, Godar and teams like Sonoman, we saw it, you know, now I think they've learned from this mistake finally, but there comes a point at like the 10 or 11 minute mark when the aliens, if the aliens are going to be winning, that's about when it's happening. And they just kind of go blank. And they're like, what do we do yeah. to, to win this? You know, and then they start going off one by one. They stop communicating a little bit. They do these little tit for tats in uh, Marine Start where it's like one skulk in there when there's nearby structures. <laughs> I just saw a can in shipping was around the corner and Polly just snuck past him as an Onos and then turned around and they stared at each other for like a second before Polly was like, wait a minute. <laughs> And then just ran him down. Now look at this last big push by Next Level Gaming. Double Onos. If they can go right for... They're not going to get the ops in time. Yeah, there goes the ops. They need to commit. They need to commit. They need to get all over each other and just commit because they can win this. Yeah, this is there over. They're now they're just going to keep bio bombing. Hit it. GG's going to come out here in just a second. They're going to try to spawn. Evilbot gets through. Evilbot's doing damage, but down go both IPs. Cam's gonna go down, and that is game. It is over. So what was that? That was 3-1, uh, right? 3-1 for next level gaming. All right.